Did you know you can create this zoom out and zoom in effect in your Canva presentations? You can use this trick on slides with text or with images to focus on details and you can also apply this animation on videos. The steps are quite simple. Let me show you. Hi, my name is Diana. Welcome to our channel. I have created a series of videos with creative slide animations and this is episode 3. Let's start by creating the design from scratch. I'm here in the Canva homepage and I'm gonna start by creating a presentation document. But remember that you can apply these same effects on any animated video. So you could go for a presentation document or a video one. I'll go for presentation this is going to open a new document in the editor and from here we are going to start designing. On this presentation what we want to have is this zoom out and zoom in effect so we will need to create first the zoom out design. Basically we want to see all the different elements we want to have in the zoom out version of this slide. I already have the colors and the fonts selected for this design but of course you can use your own branded colors colors and fonts and your own information on this design. I'm going to start by changing the color in the background so I'm going to background color and I have a hex code that I want to use here. So in here you can use two different ways. You can add the color from here or you can type it on this search bar. I'm going to paste it here and then you can select the first bubble that you see in here. You can see that it is exactly the same color you have entered and now we're ready to start creating the layout on on this design. You can start by adding the elements or the text boxes. I think I'm gonna go first with the text boxes. So I'm gonna press the key T and I'm gonna type in here my title. So this slide is going to be about the entrepreneur roadmap. So I have my title here. I'm gonna change the alignment, the font. I'm gonna use this one here and I'm also going to change the color of this font. I already have have the hex code I want to use so I'm going to text color paste the hex code here on this search bar and select the first color you see on the list and finally I'm going to reduce the line spacing and then by moving this slider to the left I'm gonna start reducing the space in between these lines of text okay let me make it a little bit bigger and now I'm going to start adding some other text boxes to add the information on this slide. So I'm going to add two different text boxes, one for the subtitle that I want to have in here and another one for the body text. For the subtitles I'm going to use a different font. It is this one here, Lex and Giga, and I'm going to reduce the size of this text box to 24, 26 and finally for the body text I'm also going to change the font for glacial and I'm also going to reduce the size of this text box because I want to hold a lot of text in this tiny text box. So I'm gonna go for 16 or even 17 and I'm also going to change the color on this body text box. So coming here, changing this hex code and selecting the first option. Now I'm just going to copy and paste the information that I want to hold on these text boxes. Here I would like to reduce the size of these text boxes and by selecting them both I'm going to change the alignment to the left. Last thing is that I want to convert this text box into uppercase so I'm selecting the text box and then clicking on the uppercase button bringing this text box closer to the body and then making sure that both text boxes have exactly the same size. And now to save some time I'm going to select these two text boxes and and duplicate them bringing this copy below and then I just simply need to paste here the information that I want to have on the other steps on this slide. I have the copy of this design ready and we just need to add a couple of elements to finalize this design and because we are talking about a road map in here I want to add a little road along the page so let's go to elements and from here search for 
road in enter and i can see a couple of elements here under graphics so let's go to graphics and i see a couple of elements that i think i will be able to use on this design so i can see this in here i'm gonna add this one to my design and under magic recommendations i see another element that i can use so let me click here and before i continue i'm gonna change the color on these two elements i'm gonna select the black color and change it for this hex code that i have ready in here and then simply by using copy style i'm going to apply the color on this other element and the next step is to simply play around to create your road on the design so i think i'm gonna try to do something like this connect these two lines and then duplicating this element in here i'm going to flip it vertically and try to connect it in here i think the road looks okay so i'm gonna continue by selecting these three elements and then group them i'm grouping these elements just to make sure that when i'm designing i don't accidentally move any of these elements because it took me a while to align them for them to look nice you could either leave your design as it is or you can add a couple of elements more i think we can make this road a little bit more interesting by adding some pink or map markers so let's go to elements and search for map marker from here you can see that there are a bunch of different elements and you have a selection of premium but also free elements if you see an element like for example this one without any label this element is going to be available for free but if you have a canva pro account you can use any of these elements with the pro label i'm gonna use this one and i actually like this element in here because i can change the color from this circle in the middle but also this yellow color and i'm saying this because i know that there are a couple of elements with a hollow circle so you can see in here this one has a hollow circle and i think by having this hollow circle it's gonna make the design a little bit messy because you can see what's going on behind so i'm gonna go for this element here and i'm gonna change the color so it matches the other colors in the design and if you're using a canva free account and would love to try canva pro so you can use all the premium media in the library but also all the pro features there is a canva pro free trial in the description and now i'm just going to position one marker on the road for each step that i have on my design so i have four steps here so we're gonna add four different markers i just simply need to adjust a couple of alignments on this design once your design is ready and everything looks perfect make sure that you don't have any typos on your slide i hope i don't have any typos in here but you're going to take your time with everything that you have in here and make sure that everything is correct Correct. Now, the next step is to select all the elements on your page and group them. You can either click on this button or press Command G. Once you have all of these elements grouped, you are going to duplicate the page. And what I'm basically doing here is to create one page for every single element I want to zoom in on. So I want to have a slide for the title that we have in here. I'm going to zoom zoom in on this one then i want to have another page for the entire roadmap in here on the next page i'm going to focus on research then another page for strategy another one for build a team another one for execution and on the last page i want to come back to this zoom out version of the design we only have copies and now we're going to start editing every single page so we can create this zoom out and zoom in effect let's go to page number one 
From here, I want to zoom in on this title, as I already mentioned, but we need to change the color on these text boxes. If not, we kind of will see them fading away in between each page. So you can leave it as it is if you don't have enough time to create this animation, but I think this is going to make the experience a little bit more professional. So I'm going to select this title and change the color for the same color that you have in the background. Selecting the other text boxes and do the same. Remember that we are on the first page and what we want to focus on the first page is the title. So it doesn't matter if we don't see these other text boxes. Now, the next step is to zoom out on your page so you can grab all of the elements and then stretch them out. We want to focus on the title so we just want to see this section of the whole design i'm actually leaving a couple of elements on the right hand side because i think they actually look nice so going to leave it something like this on the second page i said that i want to see all of the roadmap so i'm going to leave it as it is then on the third page i want to focus on the first stop on my roadmap so i'm going to do exactly the same steps that i showed you i'm going to select these text boxes and change the color so they blend with the background and now we can just stretch the design one more time so we can see only this section we just want to focus on this part of the design and now on the following pages we are going to follow exactly the same steps we are going to change the color on the text boxes that we don't need and then we're going to stretch the design so we can see the section of the design that you want to focus so let me do this quickly On page number four, because I want to see a little bit more of these elements, I can see a section of the title, but I don't want to see it on this light. So I'm going to change the color of the title in here as well. I have finalized every single slide on this presentation deck. Let me show you what I have in here. So we have the cover, basically the title of the design. We have an overview of of all the information that we want to present and then we are going to start explaining every single step that we have on our presentation and then we are coming back to this overview so people can have a clear idea of everything that we just discussed in the presentation now how are we going to create this zoom out and zoom in effect? This is quite simple. You simply need to hover in between two pages and click on this icon that says add transition. Then select match and move. And from here, it will depend on how you like this animation to look. I actually believe that 0.5, it's a little bit too fast for my liking. So I think I'm going to increase the duration to two seconds. I think this is going to allow us to really see this zoom out and zoom in effect. So once you have adjusted the duration, you're going to click apply between all pages and your presentation should be ready. So let me go to the full screen mode. And now every time that you change from one slide to the other, you will have this amazing zoom in and zoom out effect in between your pages. Please let me know what do you think about this animation trick. I really believe this can make your presentation stand out and make it more dynamic. If there is any other presentation trick or animation that you would like me to teach you, please let me know in the comments. I'll be reading you. And before we end the tutorial, I wanted to show you how to create this same effect using images. I have here a photo on my presentation document and all I have to do here is to adjust the size so our photo fills the entire page. I am not doing this. I am not right-clicking 
and set image as background. This is not what we want. I just want to increase the size. And now by duplicating the page, I'm going to increase the size of the image one more time. Let's say that I want to focus on this tiny house in here. And then on the next page, I want to focus on the tourists. So let's go duplicate the page and I'm going to increase the size of the image so we can see the tourist here in the middle of the page and then on the last page let's say that we want to see again the whole image so i'm going to copy the first page and paste it at the end remember to add the transition match and move and you can adjust the duration apply between all pages and then you have this zoom in effect and also the zoom out Here's the previous episode on this series of creative animated slides and here's the link to our creative market shop where you can find beautiful yet very professional CV templates. I think this is it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!